Hello guys, welcome to the Joy Box. I'm Thomas and today I shall be teaching you how to do very easy uh, cut lines and data uh, for your artwork to help with your print cut workflow. So today I'm working in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, at the moment I'm working with a vector based image, uh, but I will cover a raster image like a JPEG a little bit later. So if that's what you're looking for, skip forward a little bit, but you might find this interesting and learn a bit anyway. So keep watching and uh, we'll get to that before you know it. Anyway, first thing we need to do, um, we don't want to make any changes to the actual artwork. So the first thing that we're going to do is copy and paste the artwork. So we've got another version to play with, okay, which keeps this one fresh. Uh, so this is the copy. This is what we'll be using today. Now to make your cut line, the, to first, first of all, I'll show you how to make a cut line exactly matching the outline just here. And then I'll show you another little trick to make your printing cut um, a little bit nicer for your customers as well. So the first thing we'll do is we'll make sure this is selected. Go to your Pathfinder tool, which is just normally in your little uh, pane just here. And basically just weld it all together. Now, if you look closely, you can see we've got some extraneous parts just here. A load of old guff that we don't need. So the first thing we'll do is we will go to release compound path which will separate everything into their individual components. Click and move the main part that you want. Click right on the edge of it, by the way, then that way you won't pick up any of the extra bits. And then we can get rid of all those. And you're left with this outline, basically. So I print with Mamaki, so I use the Mamaki raster link uh, cut paths, um, but you will have your own home little setup depending what, uh, whether you're using a Roland or, or whatever, I don't know. But uh, I'll, sh I'll do it just for the purposes of this. <clears throat> from a Mackie because that's what I use so we're going to make that so it's uh, just basically a transparent image in the middle and for our stroke line we're going to go to my cut line just here do my little settings that I do for cutting and you'll notice that we have got a cut line now now one little tip um, if you ever find yourself where you're having double cuts on your on your cutting um, it could be because your strokes are being converted to uh, outlines which is no good for you because it will give you double cut so what you need to do is uh, highlight this section just here object flatten transparency and make sure convert all strokes to outlines is not checked okay if that's got a tick in it get rid of it and hit okay and you'll notice that this is exactly the same uh, size and shape as our artwork just there okay so that will get you going. However, if you wish to make better print cut jobs, we'll make a little bit of a border and a bit of a bleed uh, on the outside of this, even still, so that uh, it gives you a little bit of leeway with any cutting and printing inaccuracies. So what we will do is we'll go ahead and just to make it easier for you to see what's happening, I'll get rid of that stroke and bring it into a solid object just again. And now what we need to do is hit object, make sure it's selected, object, path, offset path and it brings up this offset path pane uh, now you'll notice the offset adjusts how far it spreads um, from the source information uh, you've got joins which is round which is you can see it's got nice round curves just here mitre i haven't really got any sharp edges so it won't show you that but that'll give you like uh, right angles <clears throat> and bevel will give you 45 degree on the end of any right angles uh, just to sort of like square it off a little bit but uh, we're going to make it look nice with round today um, normally for a print cut job i'd use a minimum of two mil um, bleed basically which will uh, counteract a lot of the inaccuracies you get when printing and then cutting um, but the bigger you can get away with the better i mean that would be fantastic because a one millimeter deviation in accuracy with your print and cut you wouldn't even notice it on a border that big. But if you go to two mil, any uh, one mil deviation would leave you with, sorry, if we start at two mil, any one mil deviation would leave you, you know, potentially with a one mil gap at the top and three mils at the bottom, which is much more noticeable because you've got less of a border. So we will make that, let's go to uh, five there and click OK. So you'll notice now we've got two bits of information here, the outline just here, and also this bit in the middle. We need to get rid of the bit in the middle by clicking right click, ungroup, and then just say goodbye to that. And then go ahead and do your little cut um, cut line settings as you would previously, uh, the same as before. And then also don't forget to flatten the transparency there if you don't want to have a double cut. Uh, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So now what you'll notice is that we have 
our design nicely enclosed in this cut border um, so it won't look scruffy if your print and cut alignment is a little bit skewed. Um, so hope you found that useful. I'm just going to do the same again now with a raster image. Now a raster image is like a JPEG or a PNG, something like that. It's not scalable. You can make it bigger, but it looks all pixelated. So we're going to start off with this logo just here. You'll notice it's also got a bounding box for the artwork, um, which we don't want. We don't want a square cut. We want it to be the shape of the actual design in the middle. So the first thing we'll do, I'll show you in the grey area just here so it makes a bit more sense. We'll copy and paste it again so you're working with a spare copy. Uh, and the first thing we need to do just here is make sure this copy is selected Hit object, image trace, make and expand. You may get a warning box that comes up saying, oh, are you sure you want to do this? It might take ages or whatever. Just click yes. Um, worst case scenario, it will take ages. Um, but most of the time I find it's very quick and just only takes a couple of seconds anyway. So you might as well crack on and do that. So what we need to do is separate all of this. So we're left with just the outline. So we're going to right click, ungroup. And that will allow us to get rid of that box at the back. Now you can either individually go through and pick off all these bits in the middle, or you can just grab hold of the outline part just here and move that away. And then you can just go and get rid of all that guff in the middle that you don't need. So we're still left, we've got this nice outline, which is brilliant, but we don't need all this stuff in the middle. So if we make sure it's selected, right click release compound path and do the same thing again just grab the very outline part just there and move it away you can get rid of all the rubbish in the middle and you're left with this um shape which is identical to this okay so if we go ahead and do our little cut line again again this one's from a Mackie. okay and you can see that uh our cut line that we've just produced is exactly the same size and shape as what we've got there so i'm going to go ahead and offset this again so that uh, we've got a little bit uh, of wiggle room for the print inaccurate print cut inaccuracy there i'll get rid of this middle bit and then if we use the alignment tool you will see that you have a perfectly inline image artwork and also your cut line data I hope you found that helpful. If you have, please do consider subscribing. It helps me out and uh, gives me a little bit of motivation to make more videos like this. Um, if you know a different way or use a different way, again, leave a comment below and let me know how you do that because I'm always willing to learn new stuff as well. But this is just how I do it. And once you've done it a few times, you can just do it very, very quickly and be getting on with the job. Anyway, thanks for watching. Speak to you soon. Bye.